here in the EV Smart Grid Interoperability Center, our overall goal is to harmonize global standardization of all the electric vehicle codes and standards. So a vehicle here in the U.S. can charge with U.S. infrastructure, but be shipped over to maybe Europe and also be able to charge as well. Technically, uh, to charge a battery electric vehicle, um, you need to convert that AC energy to DC or direct current to charge the battery. So the vehicle itself has an onboard charger that converts AC to DC. There's also direct current charging or DC charging, which is a faster charge rate than AC. And so the spec module, uh, the invention that was created here at Argonne, actually enables that standardized communication protocol to enable DC fast charging. Uh, I see people, they don't want to wait around for four to eight hours to charge their vehicle. So that's where the spec module actually can aid in that area, is that it can actually uh, you know, decrease the charge time and hopefully increase the adoption rate of electric vehicles. Let's use a, a language analogy to talk about how the spec module works. So let's say that you have an electric vehicle that speaks only German. So it will only be interoperable with other chargers that only speak German. But let's say that the electric vehicle pulls up to a charging station that speaks Japanese. So what the spec module in the electric vehicle would do is translate German to English, and in the EVSE, the spec module would translate Japanese to English. So now they're speaking English over the court set, and this enables DC fast charging. And that's the whole point of the spec module, is to translate languages. So the spec can be configured actually to communicate, take messages from the electric vehicle, and communicate that back to an energy management system or an energy aggregator. And, and with this type of communication, an energy aggregator can actually be able to control large fleets of electric vehicles and do frequency regulation. And there's, there's different scenarios. You can do things such as real-time pricing, where the electric vehicle driver actually gets an updated price and they can determine when they want to charge. The, electric, uh, the energy service provider can actually send what's known as a demand response to individual electric vehicles and tell them to curtail uh, their charging. Uh, they would do this in times of peak demand in order to recess the, the, the load on the grid. It quickly it turned out that you know, what I had developed is something that the real world, the industry actually was interested in. So that was very satisfying uh, to be able to develop that and get it licensed. And now to be able to work with BTC Power to make this actually a real world product is very, very cool.